So we're just setting up for the sunset time lapse here going into the northern lights that should be coming out tonight. Now the northern lights can be a little tricky so I got a five hour time lapse set on here and I'm going to show you what I did. So if you've got the regular package for the Pocket 3, you get maybe three hours of battery time and we're going to shoot for a five hour motion lapse here. So if you've got the creator combo, then you get this spare battery. But I went and bought a second party, third party, Maytech is the brand and it's a very good battery. I did a whole video review on it, but we're going to slap this little sucker on and this is going to give us the full five hour motion lapse so we can catch the northern lights. So the first thing you want to do is get to your menu and hit the time lapse. In this case it says motion lapse and you swipe up and this is where you can choose between time lapse, hyper lapse, motion lapse. Now motion lapse pans the camera while it's going left or right. It's either left to right or right to left. So I typically find that on a sunset it's best to have left to right depending on where the sun is I suppose but the sun is on my left so it's going to be left to right. So from there the other thing you want to make sure you do is tap the top right and you'll see you can set your frame rates 30 fps or 25 fps and 4k best quality. So I run at 30 fps and 4k and we get out of that swipe from right to left. Now this is the tricky part where DJI has us tricked. If you go into exposure I found that if you run the ISOs low between 50 to 100 and let's say 50 to 400 I always keep it at 50 to 100 at night. The key to getting a good night lapse is a long shutter and if you look up on the top it's one over 240th of a second. That's very fast. It's not going to work very well at night. If you go to manual mode the longest exposure we can have is one second. Now typically for northern lights you want to have at least five seconds if not more i find 15 is a very good number for this camera with some longer durations between shots you end up getting some nice kind of a blur and it doesn't look so rigidy on the time lapse the way the lights are shifting so here's the trick you go from manual to auto and if you're in these low isos watch what happens when i cover up the lens you'll see the shutter jumps up to 20 seconds when it's pitch black. So 1 over 240 to 20. So we're going to leave it in auto. We're going to leave the EV at negative 0.3 and the ISO at 50 to 100. That's all you need to do in here. Hit OK. Format, I like to do video plus raw because the raw videos you can edit the heck out of in post if you want to change the way it looks. And my white balance, I like a little cooler for the northern lights. Uh, but with the sunset, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to meet halfway. 4200 is really good for the northern lights. 4600 is where I'm going to leave it at here. So confirm that. And then I'm just going to go set it up closer to the water so that I get a nice reflection of lights from the water and the sky. The more reflection you have, the more lights you're going to pick up and the better things are going to look. And right before we go into the water, we're going to swipe up one more time and double check our settings. So motion lapse, five hours, 20 seconds left to right. Swipe up one more time and you get to pick your interval. 20 seconds, it'll probably do a 15 second shutter at 20 seconds and uh, duration for five hours. And that's where this magic little battery pack helps out to make us make sure we get the whole five hours. So as the sun sets, I'm going to have, let's say, four, four hours after dark to catch the northern lights if any of the lights show up. I'm going to see them when I wake up at uh, about 2 in the morning and I'm antsy to come out and get the camera. So let's go set it up and catch some lights. Mm -hmm. 